I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is the Alaska Purchase of 1867. This is when we bought Alaska from the Russians. I'm going to take two fingers right from there and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw wavy line down, up, over, down, up, in, out, down, up, out, down, in, out, down, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, up, over, and down. Okay. When you draw a map, it's not going to be exact, but pretty close. So I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to just draw a wavy line to meet up with this bottom line, which I'm going to now connect with a straight line. Okay. Starting at the top up here, I go wavy line down, up, down, off the page. Come down to this point. Now I'm going to do straight line, wavy line down, wavy line down, wavy line down, off the page. Okay. I come right here to this indentation and I'm just going to draw wavy line out, up, connect. Then I'm going to take a, a curved line out and up because these are all islands. So rather than get mixed up, I'm just going to draw the line for my guide and I'm just going to put closed, flat ovals all the way out back until you fill in this space. These are the Aleutian Islands. Aleutian Islands. This is Canada going out and over and this is Canada going down and over. I'm going to draw a straight line and an upside down triangle because this going down is where you see the USA, the United States of America. So I come back up to this space right here and this is the Gulf of Alaska. And right here down towards the bottom I'm going to draw a straight line, wavy line up over, connect, and on top I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line down, connect, little flat oval, one, two straight diagonals, one, two straight diagonals, dot, dot, and then on this side I just draw wavy line down and connect, okay? On this side over here on the bottom left, I almost ran out of room. I'm going to put N S E W. And then I'm going to draw my compass rows with little arrows so you know north, south, east, and west. Okay. Now I come up on this upper right, I mean upper left, and I draw a wavy line down, up, down, up. Keep going off the page. This is Russia. Okay, and this space up here, Arctic Ocean. So you can see there's a lot going on here. And right here, I'm going to draw a circle, and then I'm going to go zigzag, 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 zigzag. Then I'm going to come down and do zigzag, zigzag. I'm going to draw a straight line. Straight diagonal up, straight line down, straight diagonal up. Connect. 
Now on the left, straight diagonal up, straight line down, straight diagonal up, connect. And I'm just going to draw straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal up. One, two little dots. Okay. This space right here is the bearing C. Okay. And this is one of my indigenous people possibly an alute. I come inside and right here I'm just going to do a starburst. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. This city is known. This is so you know, kind of get an idea of what you're looking at. And on here, towards Canada, I'm going to put another starburst. And this is Fairbanks. And I'll tell you the story of all of this in just a minute. Let me make sure we've got the USA going down, Canada up and over. This is Alaska, Russia, Arctic Ocean, Aleut, Aleutian Islands, Compass Rose, and a walrus. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, so that you can see what we're talking about. I'm going to do a light loop-de-loop -loop in regular green of Canada. These are these big land masses so that you can physically see what we're talking about. And this is just part of Canada. Canada extends all the way over and a little bit down. So this is Canada. And then you have to go all the way down the coast of Canada before you hit the United States of America, which is way down south, okay? Next, I'm going to color in red my cities of Ver uh, Fairbanks and Nome. So those kind of pop a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my brown and I'm gonna lightly loop-de-loop -loop Alaska, okay? You don't want to color very dark on this. It is a map, and when you color too dark, you lose all your details. Don't forget the Aleutian Islands. This is also part of Alaska. Okay. Then I'm going to jump over, and I'm going to color this tip of Russia in the Bering Straits, Bering Sea, which is... How you can see Russia connected to Alaska. They just jumped over. Okay? Then, I'm going to take my orange. I'm just going to add a little bit of color on the outside rim of Alaska. A little bit on Russia. Okay? Then, Alaska and this whole area was not empty. There were indigenous people here. A lot of them. There were the Aleuts, Quackoodles, all kinds of Native American or indigenous people, I should say, tribes. So I'm going to color my kayak and my little boatman with a little bit of gray and a little bit of orange. Then I come over with my brown. I'm going to color my walrus's nose. I'm going to give his rock a little bit of brown. And I'm going to color him gray. So even though it's what we would consider north, there was a lot of animals, people, activity up in this area. And last but not least, it was also a lot of ocean. So you got the Arctic Ocean, the Bering Sea, and I'm doing just a light loop-de-loop. -loop. Like I said, you do not want to color dark on something like this because it's a map. You want to be able to see. This crashes into the Pacific Ocean. I might even give my indigenous person a little bit of brown on his face. There we go. So it was a very active area. Okay, let me see. I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, so in 1867, Russia decides to sell 
Alaska, which it had decided was theirs by colonizing, to the United States of America because they were having money problems. They were in a war they, would lo they had lost, and so they had to sell their property. So they sold it to William Seward, the Secretary of State, for $7.2 million. And it ended Russia's presence in North America. Not everybody else, but at least Russia was no longer involved. So it was a big, big deal, and they used to call it Seward's Folly after the uh, Secretary of State because they thought, oh, who'd want Alaska? What's up there? And it turned out, last laugh on everybody else, there was gold. Okay, bye-bye.